There are a number of items that need to be addressed in order for the program to function as you desire. These are generally set up one time and not touched again except under special circumstances. Input the name of your facility or company. This information will be displayed in the upper right hand corner of the web portal and will print on visitor passes and badges. Enter your entry points. This may include names such as the main lobby, primary gate, and so on. If the entry point serves one particular portion of your property only, you can link the entry to those properties or buildings. Custom Attribute is a custom field that you can assign to each employee, such as employee number or some other designation. This field can be used as an additional lookup field in the visitor processing client or to confirm someone's identity. The Dynamic field is a selectable option that allows you to display one of these fields in the visitor processing client along with each host name. You may set the system's maximum visitor duration. This parameter will determine the maximum period of time a host can enter a visitor for. The maximum pass duration is the maximum period of time a visitor can receive a pass for. For example, even though a visitor may be in the system for up to a period of time such as six months, which was set under the maximum visitor duration, they can only get a pass for up to 10 days. If you are tracking visitor license tags in a visitor processing client, this allows you to set the default state. If you set this field to yes, then any visitor who has been processed in the visitor processing client will no longer be displayed in the visitor processing screen. This removes clutter from the screen but the visitor may still be searched in the screen if they return and need a new pass. Any note that you want displayed on the visitor pass may be entered in this field.